want to talk about the uh, control panel of the machine now. Um, the control panel can look very daunting on a CNC machine when you first look at it. It's a bit like a modern car and you, uh, uh, you wonder where the different controls are. But you soon get to know the obvious ones, like, for example, you would always know where the steering wheel was and things like that. There's very obvious things that you're going to know. So you could probably jump in that car and drive it fairly quickly and then maybe get more attention to the details as you get to know it. And a CNC is very similar. They all have the same functions. So it's just really a matter of finding where those different functions and features are and how they work. And there are things on there that you might never use. And then there's things that you will be using all day, every day. So looking at this control panel, the first thing that I want to point out is the emergency stop button. And the emergency stop button is probably, well, it is. The emergency stop button is the most important control there. When you press that emergency stop button, everything stops dead. So it applies brakes to the spindle um, and or revolving chuck, and it will stop it almost immediately. Obviously, bigger, more powerful machines do take longer to stop. But this emergency stop, um, it will require releasing once you press it. Um, and that is the most important button on the machine. Next, I want to talk about the, um, the selector, the mode selector switch. And a CNC machine is always in a mode. So um, as we uh, select the different modes, We've got an edit mode, which is where we alter programs. We can delete programs. We've got a DNC mode, uh, not that commonly used, but it, you can. It's called direct numerical control, and it means that your programs can be sent directly from a computer to the machine. And then there's our auto mode. This is what we use when we just want to automatically run a program. So the program will run from start to finish at the press of this button here, which is your cycle start button. Um, and next to that is a feed hold button, which is used to hold the feed. So in other words, as, as the machine is moving, this will hold it. It won't effectively stop the spindle, but it will stop the machine moving. And then you can just continue that move by pressing the cycle start button again. And then we come to MDI. MDI stands for manual data input. And um, you can see if you look up on the right here that this screen's come up and it's like a program, but it's just a little short program that we use for doing quick things like we might want to change the tool or we might want to just start the spindle up or we might even mill across the top of a part. It's not normally kept. It's normally disposed of once we've used it. So it's a quick way of issuing commands to the machine um, through MDI. Then we come to something called the hand wheel or handle mode. My hand wheel is down here. Um, these can be remote. They're sometimes on a pendant type thing or you have a wire connecting to it. And um, what you can do with this is just generally move the machine around um, in X, Y and Z. Or if you've got a rotary axis, you can do that again. I'll show a bit more on that in a minute. And then the jog. This means, again, that we move the axes around um, at a predetermined feed. And this dial here uh, will, if you look, it's got 1,400, 2,700 on the dial. So you can set what feed you're going to feed at when you press these buttons here which will move your x plus x minus y plus y minus and so on um and then we can also rapid the machine around so that's the maximum uh that the moves the machine around at its maximum speed and this rapid we can override so we can have half the rapid 25 percent 50 or this one which is really slow um we always recommend that when you're not using this machine uh, in other words, you're not running programs, you're not in full run. Keep this on 25% so that you don't accidentally rapid it too fast because some of these rapid traverses are very, very fast on modern machines. So that's your rapid over. Well, there's a similar thing for the spindle. So the spindle can run 100%. In other words, 
whatever speed you programmed it at, or you can go faster by 10 or 20% or take it right down. So you can override the spindle. And this one, you'll notice I said it controlled the feed when we're in jog, but it also is a feed rate override. So when we're in program, all the feeds that we program, the you know, the speed that we're machining across the part at the feed rate, um, that feed rate um, is controlled by this. But when we're running it in a program, we can run that at 100%. In other words, what is programmed, or we can double that to 200% or halve it to 50%. So as the program's running, we can actually override um, those feeds. So we've got a lot of control here as this program's running. This one is an edit enable key. There'd be a key in this, and you can lock and unlock the editing. So you can restrict the editing. If you take that key out and it's on off, then no one can alter anything on this machine, can edit anything. So um, what I want to do now is um, just move the part around in these different modes. So that's a machining center. Now let's look at a CNC lathe and you'll see that there's loads of things that are very, very familiar. It looks almost identical. The only difference really is that on a machining center, we've got three axes. We've got X, Y and Z. And on a CNC lathe, we just have an X and a Z axis. You can see here it says X and Z. This has got a C axis. Well, just ignore that for the time being because it does have a rotary axis as well. But we're not, for what we're learning about, we don't really need to be uh, talking about that. So if you look at the controls on this, we've again, um, we've got the ability to uh, start and stop the spindle. I just put this, if you look at the modes, I've got the jog mode the same. And again, I can start, stop, reverse my spindle and um, I've also got this uh, rapid exactly the same a manual control to rapid the machine I've got a zero return which is for reference in the machine when I first switch it on MPG this says well MPG is the same as a hand wheel a handle and you'll notice that little icon that looks the same MPG stands for manual pulse generator but we normally call this a hand wheel some controls will say handle some will say mpg but this little icon is your clue mdi same on any any all controls have this exactly the same the auto mode the dnc and the edit mode so this is all the same um we've got this uh, turret selector switch so um that is for actually uh, selecting uh, positions on the turret so I can index this turret around uh, by using this uh, selection switch um, I can demonstrate that we just move this um, we'd have to move this back to zero return because obviously um, we could potentially uh, hit something with this so that's back there if I move it over here um, if I select that and then I index it will index to whatever position I select so I've got a turret selection switch there and then I've got my uh, uh, I've got this overrider which is my jog control exactly the same as on my uh, milling machine I've got the rapid which uh, which uh, rapids the machine around um, again I've got a rapid override which I can set to these different settings looks slightly different it's got this F0 which is the lowest rapid emergency stop that all important button cycle start feed hold power on power off my uh, increment so when i'm using my hand wheel i've got my increment 0 0.1 0 0.01 0 0.001 the axis that i'm actually going to use this hand wheel on so um, when i've selected that mpg i can select my z axis and my increment and I can just wind this along in Z. You can see the turret moving along there and the same in X. So my hand wheel, my jog, again, controlled by this feed rate on here. And this time I would select my Z axis there and I've got my X axis. So that's all the same, rapid, the same zero return, 
auto mode means I'm going to actually run a program. So a CNC lay is very, very similar. And um, again, uh, it comes back to what I was saying before in that, you know, once you know how this, uh, what you're looking for on these controls, it's quite easy to, um, it's quite easy to, uh, to, to see how everything works because this is a generic control and this is typical of most CNC machines with fan controls. They would all look very, very similar to this.